Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio Undefeatable. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Alright, so in the last episode, we really, really, really got to grips with the good old Mr. McRobot clockwork bot who was, uh, who's actually kind of cool, in fairness. You know, I don't give him much credit. I didn't give him much credit in the last episode, but he is kind of cool for what he actually is. In this, in this episode, I kind of want to try and uh, make it so that this process is less bad, because at the moment, it is atrocious. Like, it is very badly designed. Uh, well, it's actually not very badly designed. It, it was never meant to be a, a, a permanent system anyway, so I, I guess it's not that bad in actuality. Ah, you know, the more I think about it, the less I care about, you know, just immediately getting rid of it. We could keep it for a little bit longer. I mean, it is doing its job, I suppose. Yeah, albeit badly. It is doing its job. Hmm. I don't know. I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds. I kind of want to get rid of it. I kind of don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. Well, let's go and plonk this robot down over in the robot uh, guarding area for now. Um, but there is a lot of other stuff to be getting on with. There is a lot of other stuff to be getting on with. Plonk you down over there. So how do you, how do you, how can I move you? I can't walk into you. Stupid robot. Stupid robots. Um, we need more wood. Wood production is something that we need to really seriously uh, work on. The tree farms are kind of nice, but they're clearly not cutting it. Uh, so we probably need to bump it up and try and get uh, the greenhouses to work. We've got two types of greenhouses to test out. Uh, we've already got one down. The second one, the biofarm greenhouse, uh, we can use fertilizer in. So that's something else that we need to take into consideration. Uh, we've got lamps. That was pretty pretty darn important that we get that set up pretty darn soon. So uh, so we did. But this is an SS turbine, power on demand. All right, that's cool. I mean, I'm interested. Plate heat exchanger. I'm interested, but uh, I I don't know. Uh, defenses as well. Defenses are also something that we uh, we need to work on. All right, let's do some research to start the day off. Uh, landfill, landfill, I am interested in, in getting. Circuit network, I am also interested in getting because the constant combinator is something that's gonna feed into uh, into robots. Don't really wanna muck around with anything too, too much, but I guess something that we could probably go for is, ooh, steel processing. I would like steel processing. I don't really wanna get it quite yet though. Something that we could probably start thinking about is A, getting a research area because we really need uh, like a separate research area. So we'll do that, I think today. But also something else that we're gonna have to bear in mind is we are going to need somewhere to uh, put all of our green science pack production. So we're gonna have to do that. Uh, what was I making here? Uh, army loot chest. Oh, we could probably make an army loot chest. Let me make an army loot chest. Oh crap, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, keep that. Uh, an army loot chest. Uh, no, we need steel. Okay, fuck. We're not gonna make an iron elite chest. I was gonna add that to the, you know, to the current area, but it's okay. All right, let's get some stone in here. Let's get it processing. We have no other stone. Wow, all right, we've got apparently no other stone, which is unbelievably bad. All right, what's been destroyed? How, how did these guys get past? How did these guys get past over here? What happened to my robots? My robots just completely useless? I mean, I know they are completely useless, but uh, I would prefer it if they weren't completely useless. Okay, that there. Yeah, it sucks that we have to do this, but whatever. What's going on? It's fine. Nothing. Nothing's going on. It's it's all it's all under control. All right, there we go, sorted. Look at that, finished, simple, easy. Uh, we are missing one furnace, but I don't think we have the resources for a furnace, and we don't have a furnace on us, so that's a little bit annoying. Let's get some more lights down because we need them. How are we doing for power, actually? Power consumption is just about reaching its, uh, its maximum point. A little bit annoying, a little bit annoying there, but hey ho. Uh, what was it gonna do? What was I gonna do? I was gonna go and get some more stone. That's right. 
and we'll place down a couple of lamps along the way. Two lamps over there, two lamps over here for good measure. Cannot pick up any more stone. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Let's offload some of this stupid belt that I've been carrying around for like three episodes at this point. All right, it's a lot of stone. That's not the work. Okay. Why on earth that was pointed in that direction? Who bloody knows? But whatever, we're going to get some walls because, uh, believe it or not, we're actually going to make the first little extension to our uh, to our perimeter at this point. Well, I say at this point, as soon as we've got the uh, appropriate walls or stone produced, should I say. I'll take that, start creating a bunch of walls. Good. Yeah, so... Oh, a little bit of a conflict going on. Easily uh, deflected, as it turns out. So the first, the first little extension to the perimeter is going to be up here. It's going to be quite a big extension, I would imagine. Um, we're going to need a bunch of sniper turrets. We're going to need a bunch of regular turrets as well. Uh, will you be able to make? You should be able to make guns here, actually. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> yes, we needed a, a level two for this bad boy. I remember that. I remember doing this, but uh, but when we last looked at this, we couldn't build level twos. So now we actually can. Let's 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 bloody well do it, I suppose. Uh, let's get you to make sniper turrets, I guess. Let's get that in here. And there is no chest to output this to, unfortunately. So let's make a little bit of underground belt. I mean, it's super unnecessary, but there we go. Uh, I'm actually going to go and drop this all the way in the middle of nowhere. Because I don't want it. What is it? Z to drop? Yeah, Z to drop. There we go. I don't want it. It, it. It's so annoying when you've just got one extra bit of underground belt in your uh, in your inventory, and it's just sitting there, sitting there doing nothing. Okay, that goes there. That's good. That's grand. It's going to take a long time to get these things built because they are, you know, by their nature, pretty good. What's going on? Where is this? It's over here again. Oh, goodness. What are you doing? You dingus. Alright, what was destroyed? Alright, one inserter. Alright, well, that's kind of sucky, I guess, but it's the world that we live in. It's on 2 HP, that chest over there. These robots, not very good at doing their job, I would uh, hasten to add. Uh, let's, let's place some of this precious, precious wall down there, unfortunately. I didn't really want to do this, but apparently we're going to need to. Will that will that actually work to defend uh, this area from the robots? Uh, from the robots, from the biters, because I think they should be funneled towards the robots. So we'll see if that actually works. It's going to be an interesting uh, little case study to see if it does. Uh, we got a little bit of stone in us, so why why not put down another furnace since we're over here? Might as well bring us back to 100% capacity, production, production capacity, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, we did burn a couple of walls on that, which is the most annoying thing, I would say, of all of this. But, you know, we're still waiting on some walls to, uh, or some stone brick to be produced so that we can eventually take, uh, take a nice little, nice little expansion to our base, which is, which is looking good. So, in my mind, I'm envisioning a research area up here a research area up here that's personally what I'm seeing I don't know how difficult that's actually going to be to uh, to manufacture but it's certainly going to be something that we do all right let's uh, let's just create a temporary hole up here I'm confident you see I'm confident maybe overly confident but uh, certainly confident okay are we out of Come on, are you kidding? Okay, we got the ability to make 50 more walls, which is good, but it's not great. 
how is the biter problem up here? Hey, if we got a if we got a sniper turret, if we got a sniper turret, could we snipe at the the base of the enemies? Let's let me let me do an experiment. I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna take you. And first things first, we're gonna deploy a normal turret, a gun turret, over like here. Put 86 ammo in there. And then a sniper turret should technically be in range. Okay. Move you in a little bit. Yeah, you need to be moved a little bit closer to defend the sniper turret. Okay. Let's get the... I'm going to help him out a little bit here because... A lot of biters. A lot of biters. Okay, and let's get the... Uh... Gun, gun turret in there. Okay, you need to be moved a little bit closer. That's fine, that's fine. 50% of that in there. Alright, this is, this is okay. We're managing to hold back the, the hordes here. Sniper Tart is actually going to town on, uh, on this base. This is kind of unbelievable. Uh, I can barely see what's going on, but there is something that's definitely going on. It's doing its job. It is firing. It is firing. It is actually going to destroy the base, I think. Although, I could help it out a little bit. There we go. I managed. Oh, look, there's some yellow things over there. Yellow alien artifacts. That's kind of nifty. Okay, let's get the gun turret down there. Let's place some ammo in it too. Let's get the sniper turret to take out. If we put it here, it should be in range of pretty much everything. We put that in there. It should just slowly but surely get rid of all the stuff over here, right? I mean, it does massive damage on impact. I mean, it's taken out the worms in like two hits. Which is kind of bonkers. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. All right, we can step in here and help out a little bit, I think. I mean, we we do pretty much nothing to it in comparison to the sniper tart. The sniper tart gets very much better value for money than we do from this. It's using not very much ammo. I'm using a lot of ammo to do this, and the sniper tart does way more damage. Yeah, it actually does noticeable amounts of damage. All right, so. Taking out, taking out this base, a little bit unexpected, but also really, really cool. Uh, we got some, wow, holy cow, we got a variety of alien artifacts. Red and orange and yellow. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so that's, you know, it's not exactly going to change the world, getting rid of that base, but um, it's at least going to make this area a little bit more secure and allow us to make uh, a better research area, I hope, actually. Um, I'm not really sure how much... Uh, how much how many uh, research machines we're gonna have we're gonna have on the go but certainly a fair number since there is so much research to get through and so little time well I say so little time will probably take us like a what, like a 200 episodes maybe who knows who knows at this rate honestly there's no rush though I'm I'm not in any rush oh whoops what about you yeah you need yeah cool Right. Okie doke. Let's get lots of this. To target to engage the enemy. Grand. That's good. Alright. Can we turn just quickly? Uh, yeah, some of our stuff into alien artif into bigger alien artifacts. Yeah, we'll just queue them up for production. Okay. Uh, we are gonna need a landfill. That's gonna be something that we're gonna that we're gonna need pretty darn soon but I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead without it for now okay oh that was not my intention nice big area over here uh, we're gonna need turrets all along the perimeter because that is something that we seriously need to worry about okay and I think down here is a nice place yeah, we're at a wall, but, you know, that's the sort of 
you know, size that we're playing with. I, I don't reckon all of this area is going to be used for, um, for research, but I would, you know, I would, yeah, maybe all of it, actually. Maybe all of it. I, I guess that sort of goes to show the size and scale of, uh, of what we want to accomplish here. Uh, let's build up a couple of labs since we can, since we've got the time, and let's also try and move all of our turrets around. Um, I, mm, I kind of feel a little bit, uh, a little bit bad about moving lots of turrets at the same time, so I'm going to make sure that we kind of do it a little bit of a staggered fashion, so to speak. So I'll take these turrets up, which are kind of unnecessary at this point. I'll also go and collect a bunch of sniper turrets that we should have made. I'm guessing like 10 have been made, 15 have been made. Perfect. That's grand. Uh, so I'm also thinking that we just sort of alternate between regular turret, sniper turret, regular turret, sniper turret, regular turret, sniper turret sort of thing. Um, since we can. Uh, so sniper turret over there, regular turret over there. Yeah. So, again, we've got to keep in mind that this is horrific, by the way. Uh, we've got to keep in mind that a lot of this, a lot of this uh, space is going to be taken up by the defenses and the fact that we've got, you know, turrets and stuff. Um, yeah. So we're, you know, we're already working with uh, a lot less space than we ideally would be, which is kind of a little bit annoying. But hey ho. Okay, and then there. All right, that's that's not bad. Uh, something else that people uh, keep telling me about is well, they don't you know don't keep telling me about it. I I, I know I need to do it, but uh, it's just not something that has really come up uh, as an option. Ammo restocking, ammo restocking, super 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 important. And now we've got the perfect opportunity to set this up, and it's super easy to do. Oops, not there. Uh, the reason that I'm going for the outside and, you know, putting the ammo belt on the outside is a little bit risky, right? Because, obviously, if it gets destroyed, then the, the turrets aren't going to have any ammo. And that could be a fatal flaw in this design. But at the same time, we really don't want to waste any more space with just defenses and stuff over here. And also, I know it's horrifically uneven, but I just kind of want to set this up so it, it works more than anything uh, right now. So that's what I'm focusing my priorities on. We need way more iron than we currently got, so we need to get that set up. We also need to find a way to pipe the ammo that's currently being produced. Kind of like this area for ammo production. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be completely permanent, but it's permanent for now. So take that as you will. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Offload onto a belt. Offload onto a belt. Come down this way. Get a bit of underground belt for good measure. Uh, uh, we can adjust this. It's not an issue. Perfect. That doesn't even require that much effort. Uh, and we should have ammo. Ammo, 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 ammo. Not exactly the most pretty setup that we've uh, ever built, but it's gonna work, I suppose. And you know what? It doesn't need to be pretty. It's just a bloody ammo belt. Like, that's it. It's just an ammo belt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so on further reflection, I feel that it would probably be wiser if we started the ammo belt around this way, which means that we're going to have to reverse all this belt, which may look like a travesty, but it's really, really easy to do because all we need to do is walk over it again. And we're not wasting any belt. We're just, you know, placing the same belt down in the same place. And there we should have pretty darned good setup for ammo and that is going to scale quite nicely because ideally we're going to be able to put other types of ammo in here um which is going to be really cool okay wow holy cow we need a lot more small electric poles um 
Yeah. Also, there's not enough gun turrets in here. I'm fully aware of this. We're going to fill it in later. Uh, I just kind of want to make sure that this is set up and we're not going to, you know, die straight away from our research area getting horrifically attacked. Which, you know, is still a possibility. We could still get attacked. We could still lose all of this progress because we are being fairly ballsy in the fact that we're, uh, you know, we're just straight up moving a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm, I'm relatively hopeful that that's not going to be the case. Uh, we'll get a couple of long distance big wooden poles. Man, I really do like these things. They really are super, super awesome. I think they're honestly one of my favorite things that, uh, that mods have added. Alright, there we go. And that should mean that when ammo goes round, should be loaded into the turrets. Um, it's going to take a while for uh, for it all to be filtered through. There's a little bit of a gap over here as well, so we need to fix that. Pronto, please. There we go. Fix that up. And that should, that should be us in a pretty good position, actually. Let's pick up this ammo. Since we uh, since we don't really need it, yeah. So even though there's only like a couple of uh, a couple of magazines in every in every turret, really shouldn't make that much of a difference because at least we've got you know a way of delivering all of the ammo to the turrets like we've never had before, which is super super cool, and it means that we don't really need to worry about this area anymore. Um, we still need to worry about it on the reason that you know there's a whole bunch of sniper turrets here rather than actual fast shooting turrets which could hurt us uh, because the fire rate is very very slow uh, so I am kind of worried about that but mostly I'm not mostly I'm, I'm completely fine with what we've got going on holy cow would you look at the alien artifacts down there again it feels super super weird to have so many alien artifacts at such an early stage of the game it really is crazy um so that's the defenses for the research area done. We're probably going to be working on the research area in the next episode because we're pretty much out of time at the moment. But uh, honestly, I'm really, really, really happy with the progress that we're making. I really, really am. It may not look like much, but, uh, you know, we are... You know, the fact that we managed to destroy that base today as well, that's a surprisingly... a surprisingly big development, actually. Managing to destroy uh, an enemy base that was constantly harassing us and... Uh, up until a few episodes ago, was succeeding in uh, managing to destroy a lot of our uh, a lot of our stuff. So, ladies and gents, thank you very very much for watching this episode of Factorial Undefeatable. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.